Six key series included in the exhibition Primordial Chaos, Altar Pieces, Evolution, The Ten Largest, The Swan, and The Dove. These works charted Hilma F. Clint's pursuit of the original unity. Affected by the dramatic development of science and a big mix of religions, F. Clint abandoned the conventions she learned at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts from the late 1880s. She started to paint the invisible world hidden within the nature. She used lots of contrast elements in her works, but by using the geometry symmetry, the conflict tended to be the harmony she's looking for. She also talked about her work as a temple. We don't quite know what she meant with a temple. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, there are 193 paintings that were the most important to her, and they constituted the temple. We think that she actually was thinking of a kind of architectural structure, because the paintings are so large that they can almost be some sort of a, you know, they're, they're part of a spatial imagination. They're maybe, you know, architectural almost. Uh, and uh, uh, she, she was very interested in biomorphic uh, uh, shapes, like spirals and shells. And, and we think actually that she was dreaming of a kind of spiral building to install her works in. And we can see glimpses of that. And that for me is a kind of highlight when you get a sense of a bigger uh, uh, whole where, where the individual works belong to a bigger space. The artist always insisted her idea of the world and painted the original unity by symbols and motives which includes the shells, snakes, lilies, swans, and doves. Well, interestingly, uh, she understood all of these paintings to be painted through her. She communicated what she believed to be spirits, who then commissioned her to, to make these works. And, you know, while she is, in a sense, making abstract works prior to, you know, Malevich and Kandinsky, she didn't really understand herself to be an abstract artist, but more that there was no real hierarchy between abstraction and figuration, and how a swan could be both represented as a swan, but also represent, pre represented through geom geometric symbology. She thought her spiritual world as much higher than the realities and fearing that she would not be understood. So she stipulated that her abstract work should be kept out of the public for 20 years after her death in 1944. In fact, people began to understand her works from late 1980s. Until now, F. Clint has gained great popularity from young artists. The exhibition lasts until May 15, 2016.